there are various software development approaches defined and designed which are used during development process of software these approaches are referred as software development life cycle each process model follows a particular life cycle in order to ensure the success in the process of software development let us go through the waterfall model and v model waterfall approach was first process model to be introduced and followed widely in software engineering to ensure success of the project in the waterfall approach the whole process of software development is divided into separate process phases the phases in waterfall model are requirement analysis system design implementation integration and testing operations and maintenance all these phases are cascaded to each other so that second phase is started as and when defined set of goals are achieved for first phase and it is signed off so the name waterfall model all the methods and processes undertaken in waterfall model are more visible requirement analysis phase all possible requirements of the system to be developed are captured in this phase requirements are set of functionalities and constraints that the end user expects from the system the requirements are gathered from the end user by consultation these requirements are analyzed for their validity and the possibility of incorporating the requirements in the system to be developed is also studied finally a requirement specification document is created which serves the purpose of guidelines for the next phase of the model system design phase Before starting for actual coding it is highly important to understand what we are going to create and what it should look like the requirement specification from first phase are studied in this phase and system design is prepared system design helps in specifying hardware and system requirements and also helps in defining overall system architecture the system design specification serve as input for the next phase of the model implementation phase On receiving system design documents the work is divided in modules and actual coding is started the system is first developed in small programs called units which are integrated in the next phase each unit is developed and tested for its functionality this is referred to as unit testing unit testing mainly verifies if the units meet their specifications integration and testing phase the system is first divided in units which are developed and tested for their functionalities these units are integrated into a complete system during integration phase and tested to check if all the modules coordinate between each other and the system as a whole behave as per the specifications after successfully testing the software it is delivered to the customer operations and maintenance phase this phase of the waterfall model is virtually never ending phase Generally problems with the system developed come up after its first practical use start so the issues related to the system are solved after deployment of the system not all the problems come up in fixture directly but they arise time to time and needs to be solved hence this process is referred as operations and maintenance The V model is a software development model which can be presumed to be the extension of the waterfall model. Instead of moving down in a linear way, the process steps are bent upwards after the coding phase to form the typical V shape. The V model demonstrates the relationship between each phase of the development life cycle and its associated phase of testing. Requirement analysis phase In this phase the requirements of the proposed system are collected by analyzing the needs of the user. This phase is concerned about establishing what the ideal system has to perform. However, it does not determine how the software will be designed or built. Usually the users are interviewed and a document called the user requirements document is generated. The user requirements document will typically describe the system's functional physical interface performance data security requirements etc as expected by the user it is one which the business analysts use to communicate their understanding of the system back to the users the users carefully review this document as this document would serve as the guideline for the system designer in the system design phase the user acceptance tests are designed in this phase design phase 
system engineers analyze and understand the business of the proposed system by studying the user requirements document they figure out possibilities and techniques by which the user requirements can be implemented if any of the requirements are not feasible the user is informed of the issue a resolution is found and the user requirement document is edited accordingly the software specification document which serves as a blueprint for the development phase is generated this document contains the general system organization menu structures data structures etc it may also hold example business scenario sample windows reports for the better understanding other technical documentation like entity diagrams data dictionary will also be produced in this phase the documents for system testing is prepared in this phase architecture design phase this phase can also be called as high level design the baseline in selecting the architecture is that it should realize all which typically consists of the list of modules brief functionality of each module their interface relationship dependencies database tables architecture diagrams technology details etc the integration testing design is carried out in this phase module design phase this phase can also be called as low level design the designed system is broken up into smaller units or modules and each of them is explained so that the programmer can start coding directly the low level design document or program specifications will contain a detailed functional logic of the module in pseudo code database tables with all elements including their type and size all interface details with complete api references all dependency issues error message listings complete input outputs for a module the unit test design is developed in this phase coding phase in this phase each component of the software is coded 